you guys again for coming. It's so lovely to see you all. Um, just got a couple of things that I want to tell you about, and then if anyone has any questions, um, I'd love to answer them. So first off, as my mother was saying, we have some well reports from this past year. I think we did about 14 water projects around the world, um, all over in different countries. A lot of them are at schools. Um, and then we did 10 full septic systems on the Navajo Reservation, um, where there's an in-ground water tank and then water is piped into homes so people can have a sink inside. So that project is pretty much wrapped up, um, at least for the core area that we started with. I think there's, it's growing, so you know there's always more to do. And we love working in New Mexico. Um, so yeah, that was a really, really excellent year last year. And then in terms of new and exciting stuff, we've got a lot going on. As mentioned, we are taking a trip to Guatemala we are going to go drill a water well. And I am insanely excited about this because we've been doing this for 12 years and have not yet actually been a part of the well drilling process. Mm -hmm. We've been to see finished projects, but we haven't ever seen <clears throat> the drilling process. So I am incredibly excited. Um, looking forward to watching it happen and we're gonna participate in the sanitation and hygiene training and getting to really know the community so it should be pretty awesome um, we've got some amazing youth volunteers who are going with us and some awesome adult volunteers as well so it should be a fun time and of course we'll be documenting it and posting it on social media so you guys can follow along um, we also just received a wonderful new exciting grant from Rotary Club, uh, which will help us develop some more educational materials for youth here. Um, we've got a lot of amazing ideas uh, and projects that are upcoming. Um, we're trying to develop a program where it is kind of a fully developed information, well, a well of information that students and teachers can access. And so you could log on and got all of the materials you need to do a class on paper water. You, know, you learn about science and the water crisis, you learn about philanthropy and fundraising and um, what it's like to do your own project. So that's something upcoming that we're working on and this grant money will be instrumental in making that happen. Um, we also want to, to tell all of you about our annual event. <coughs> I know it's really far in advance, but everyone's super busy, so put on your calendar November 7th for a save the date. Uh, should be a really great event as always, and everyone who's invited. And then last, but certainly not least, in fact, very important, we have a project um, that we are working on in Emmanuel, Kenya, and Melon is here to tell us a little bit about it, so I'm not gonna to talk too much, but it is a really exciting project at a school um, that currently does not have any clean water and this water well will make a huge difference there um, and I want to introduce Melon. Melon is amazing. She is a part of our committee making this project happen. Uh, she is a nurse and she runs a clinic in Kenya every summer um, and it's just an all-around wonderful human being so yes welcome. <laughs> very much, uh, Isabel. Uh, as you have heard, my name is Melon, for those who haven't known my name yet, and I come from Kenya. Uh, just a little correction, Isabel. The, the school of Emerald does not have that water. It doesn't have water at all. So, there's no dirty water, there's no clean water. Emerald does not have water. So, I thank you so much for coming and for the work that you do for the sponsorship or the sponsors who give uh, whatever much or little they give towards the uh, paper for water, they really make a difference. Uh, I was looking through the wall and I, I saw like, you know, those pictures. I saw myself in the village uh, of Emenor because that's where I come from. That's where I was born and that's where I grew up. <clears throat> we, we, we didn't have water, we still don't have water. So we have to walk uh, far to fetch water, like that story is saying on that paper there. 
that people have to carry the jerrycans, the jerrycans that you see there, that's real. It's not just a picture that is just invented. But people have to walk distance and fetch water. And sometimes you go to the place and the water is not clean. And it, it, there's so much that you can carry for a household uh, that needs a whole lot of water. So you can imagine when we have a school like Emenor that has over 700 students, just a school before we add the teachers and all the needs that are there. I was sharing with uh, my friend here that it's, it's a dream come true for Emenor if they have water. Imagining that we have, you can go to the bathroom and you, you can flush the bathroom, you can wash your hands. That, that's a dream come true for, for a lot of kids back in Kenya. So whatever you are doing is, is not uh, for a loss. It's really impacting lives. Uh, I didn't grow with water. We, we had to go very far to get the water. And sometimes, you know, you, you go and it's rainy, you slide, you get accidents, you, you lose the, the pot, it hits on the floor, it cracks, you lose the water. So th there is a whole lot that goes on with this water issue. But uh, the wonderful people who have come together and put their hearts that they have to help the world really to get water, no matter where it is, whether it's back in Kenya or is where you're going to Watermelon, it doesn't matter. Every need has a lot of significance when there's no water. Just imagine, I remember one time there was an announcement, oh, there will, there will, there's going to be ice and there will, the, the water pipes will be bursting. Here, <laughs> people need to go and buy jellicas and store water. You know, it was, it was funny for me to see, but it was a lot of torment for people here. Like, oh, there's not going to be water. There was no water in Walmart. You go everywhere, there's no water. So you can imagine what happens at home. And sometimes we thank God for the rain because when there's <clears> rain, <throat> then now we can harvest water and then use some of that water for cleaning and you know even for, for consumption, boiling it and then you drink it. So thank you, thank you so, so much for the project that you have. Uh, if the project is gonna cost a lot of money, uh, it's about $48,000. So uh, any help towards that is, is, is of much help, will make a difference. Thank you, thank you so much, and God bless you for all that you do.